Hey guys, I'm up here on the top of my RV. We just finished installing our soft start for the air conditioner unit. Stick around while Paul and I show you how to get this installed. Hey everybody, welcome back. I am Ted from What's My Gear. I've got my buddy Paul here. He's done this before on his RV. He's gonna help walk us through. First thing we gotta do is take the cover off the air conditioning unit. Mm -hmm. There's a yellow sticker on the side of the AC unit. We gotta get the model number off it. Go down to the soft start website, download the instructions, and then follow in the wire instructions from there. Okay, and we'll wire it in and we're gonna show you guys take you along every step of the way. Let's get going. Here's everything that we think you might need to complete this project. Turn off everything before we get started and you're messing with electrical. All right, everybody, we're at the top of the RV. I've selected the center unit. We're only gonna be putting in one soft start. Paul, what is the uh, first thing we gotta do? First thing we gotta do is remove these four screws holding the air conditioning shroud on. And then we gotta use a straight edge screwdriver to split this air conditioning apart so we can lift it off. So all you gotta do is open it up like a clamshell. Here. That comes right off. We gotta take this panel off to get to the yellow sticker that's inside. It'll give us our part number. Oh, I see. It's just one panel. Yep, yeah, one small panel. So you wanna make sure we do not use the model number on the outside of the unit. You've gotta use this little model number in the lower left of your yellow label from inside the panel. Follow the exact instructions for your own model number. We're gonna head downstairs, we're gonna grab the instructions per the, the model number that we showed you and we will come back up with the instructions for this exact model. Okay, so we're gonna look up the instructions for our specific soft start unit. I think we wanna to go to softstartrv.com. Our unit happens to be a Coleman, so we're gonna go here. Okay, so ours is 1976-760. Go this guy here, mm -hmm. okay. Oh, I see what they're doing. Okay, so ours is this guy here, 1976 by 760. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna print this out and take it up with us to the top of the RV. So we're back up on the RV. We've got our instructions. What's the plan for us? And then I know you had to do something a little bit different. We could show them that too. My air conditioning units were a little more crowded here. The idea of putting this in, in here with the air conditioning, with the um, waterproof outlet down. Okay. I think yours will fit right here. That makes sense. We can use the double-sided tape if we want to reinforce it with maybe some small, short uh, metal screws in the holes. We can probably do that into this. This is the unit that uh, forces the air throughout your ducting system. Okay. Inside your air conditioning unit. And you said you had to do yours on this side. What was the difference between yours and mine for the people out there that might need to consider doing it your way? So I didn't have enough room here to put the soft start unit in. I had room here, but I don't have room over here like you have. Is there an official way per the instructions or they just say mount it where you have space? Mount it where you have space with this down, your waterproof port down so that you don't have water coming in into this unit. So I had to use the screws that are here and the screws that are here and I used some metal aluminum angle brackets and I just mounted it right here. Okay, and that, that's just your custom solution because didn't you didn't have, didn't have the space. But I didn't have the space back here. Okay, yeah. so if you guys have space in yours, something like what we were showing you over here, feel free to use that space. Don't go out of your way to make your own brackets if you can get it installed with the included double-sided tape or just by zipping some screws through. Just make sure, this kind of goes with anything, guys. If you are screwing something to any surface, make sure you know what's on the other, other side, side of that surface. <laughs> <laughs> what's the next step? I'm going to remove this sealant from around here. To, we're gonna need that, we're gonna reuse it. Oh, a little ring coming Testing down. for power on all terminal points and all wires. We've got no power. Route the full length brown and red soft start wires to the top of the compressor. They're actually gonna go right here. They're gonna replace. Oh, I see. So we'll get to that later. Okay. These wires are gonna go in here. Follow the white compressor wire to the crown capacitor. Disconnect it from the terminal. Connect it to the blue soft start wire. We're gonna connect these two together. Okay. One. It's tight. You want electrical tape? It says to tape them, so yeah, we're gonna tape them. All right, now we're gonna connect the black soft start wire to the terminal the white capacitor was on. Where that terminal, was, where the white wire was, we're gonna take 
this black wire and put it on there. You don't want to get the clip in in here, right? Because that won't hold anything. You want to make sure it gets in this side of the of the connector. So we attached the black cable to where the white cable used to be. This black cable is the one coming off of the soft, soft start. start. Yep. All right, connect the yellow wire to the terminal next to the red compressor wire. I don't want to touch anything in here because this is a capacitor. Right. right in here? Yep. Is where we're going to put this yellow wire off of the soft start. We're going to put that next to the red wire. So was this terminal already empty and open? Yeah. Okay. There's actually four terminals on male terminals on top of that capacitor on each side. Mm -hmm. We're going to, just going to use one of them that's already on that capacitor. So we just attached, we attached the yellow one to the top of the capacitor next to the red one. And that yellow one also came from the, the soft start. Came from the soft start. Okay. Yep. We can zip tie these wires together if we don't want, that way they're not rattling around in this compartment. So now all we have left are the brown and red ones. So we're removing the compressor cap. Disconnect the black wire and connect it to the red soft start wire. We opted to remove the right angle connector and go with a straight connector so that way when we tape it, it's just a nice clean line. Look how close I am to the edge just to get this video for you guys. <laughs> Last thing, connect the brown wire from the soft start to the black compressor wire that was on. So we gotta go back on to here. Wasted a little bit of time and put on a straight one, but you guys can take it from us. Go ahead with a 90 degree right from the beginning if you have a situation like this where you got limited vertical space. You know, we don't have the special crimping tool required for a 90 degree right angle. So guys, what we just did there, I've already done it, so I'm gonna show you on this other one. You have this space between these two folded pieces of metal that make the crimp. If we come over here real quick, we've got this like tube that comes out on the compressor, it's in the way. So if you look at what the factory does, they almost like make a little bit of room for that tube. So what I did is I stuck a flathead screwdriver and gave it just a little twist and look at the amount of room I just added. It's a lot more room than this one. There we go, nice and tight. And let's take the rubbing oh, alcohol we're, we're, we're gonna clean up the surface. We'll make sure that there's no tree pollen. Heck, even dust. Dust from Heck. traveling on the highways. We want that guy to hold on there as long as it can. Feels dry. Right. There. So now we're gonna reinstall the, the cap and make sure the wires aren't caught in the cap. So we've reinstalled our cap. Yep. If we don't cut the wires, put all these wires together so that they're not giving each other support. All right, guys, you just saw the installation. Now we are just sealing everything up. We're going to button it up, get the covers back on, and head downstairs to test it out. So then this tab goes up underneath. I ended up sealing all these edges and these edges with some aluminum foil tape. Technically inside this box is the cold air. Is the, yeah, this, this fan motor right here is the fan motor also that's blowing the fan to push the air through your air ducts in your RV. So if these if edges these are, are not sealed, you're losing a little bit of that cold air. Oh, let's it. seal that bad boy up. <laughs> So we've got our soft start installed with the 3M tape that is provided, it's double-sided tape. I did not 
opt to throw screws like these self tappers into the unit because I am not sure what is on the other side of this wall and I'm not uh, looking to open it up and find out just right now. So I'm gonna look up my model. I'm gonna find out what the inside looks like. If I can't, I'm gonna leave it as is and we're just gonna hope that that 3M tape doesn't fall off. If I find out this is hollow, I'll come up here and zip a couple of screws in. So for your installation, that's just a consideration for you. If you want to uh, find out what's on the other side of this wall and throw a couple of screws in or just rely on the 3M tape. There we go on high. Yeah, the green light's on. There's no red light. The sequence is all the devices and the other two or three pieces, the compressor and the fan. Okay. So you don't have that large spike in yeah. electricity. When you oh, turn on oh. electric devices, motors, right? right? There's always that peak draw. Yep. And then it, when it runs, it drops back and, and runs at a constant level. So it starts the fan first, mm -hmm. does that peak, levels off, then it starts the compressor, then it levels off. So you don't have that large spike, you have two small spikes. So you're not kicking on all components at once. If you guys are interested in those details, you can check it out at softstartrv.com. Otherwise, uh, this does work. We've got it running on high. You can see right here, full on high. And it is running off my house extension cord, 15 amps, and it's not popping the breaker. It's not popping my power strip. That's awesome. Thanks again, man. Appreciate it. Yep. We've got the AC running. The air is cold. Everything seems to be running okay. I've got it on a 15 amp power cord. It's an extension cord plugged into a 15 amp power surge protector. It has not tripped that surge protector and everything seems to be running just fine. There are some, these? These tabs right here, there's okay. three of them in the front. Okay. You have to make sure the air conditioning unit goes under those tabs, but not down underneath this air conditioning unit. The tabs hold the front cover from popping up when you're blowing. So it has to be installed just like that and not. It what should it, not be like that. So you're supposed to see a little bit of the lip on this metal down here. Yeah. These two clips, just push them together. Now, how are the clips on the front? Are they still in the right spot? It appears to be. Let's look at the front. We could test it on the other one to see if that movement's normal. Seems like it is. Seems like it is. So we are done. If you guys got value out of this video, why don't you give me a hashtag soft start RV in the comments below. Well, Paul, thank you for the help. Really appreciate it. Well guys, listen, Paul is considering starting a YouTube channel for RV living maintenance, things of that nature. If you guys got value out of this video and you want to support Paul and give him that sort of like, uh, you know, sure. vote of confidence, please comment in the video below and let Paul know that uh, you got value out of this and you'd like to see him start a channel. Sure. Cool. Cool. Awesome. Thanks again, man. Yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.